want to start by introducing you to my friend Ishar Shai, who uh, has joined us today. Uh, Ishar is an old friend of mine. I think we've known each other for almost uh, 30 years. So he comes with a great background in entrepreneurship and venture capital innovation. Uh, unfortunately, he has other expertise. His heroic son, uh, Yaron, fell on the first day of fighting, saving countless people in one of the first and early battles together with his uh, comrades. There were three against many. You'll hear the story from Yizhar and uh, we're very, very honored you're with us. And uh, we are uh, thinking all of uh, the sacrifice which uh, your family has made and which many, many families have made uh, in the country. Yizhar, please. Thank you, John, and thank you for having me here. I'm uh, the, the proud father of uh, our 21 years old hero, Yaron Ori Shai, who was killed in action on Saturday, October 7th. Yaron's unit was uh, stationed at the border in Gaza. Uh, this is a special combat unit whose mission was to keep the peace, to keep the peace in the region and let the civilians on both sides of the fence go about their lives. When attacked on Saturday morning, Yaron's unit immediately engaged in fierce exchanges of uh, heavy fire all across the section of the border. Our Yaron was killed while protecting civilians, while fighting hundreds of Hamas terrorists, not letting them reach the civilians and female soldiers who were under his uh, special unit watch. The price this uh, special unit paid is very, very painful. We are still praying for some critically wounded soldiers who are, as we speak, hospitalized and doctors are fighting for their lives. But the mission, the military mission was accomplished in their region. Kibbutz Kerem Shalom was not conquered by the enemy. The civilians in this kibbutz have not suffered any casualty. Um, all female soldiers under this unit watch were saved intact without any kind of physical injury. Um, and to that end, we are very proud um, about being the, the father of your own and actually about knowing a few dozens of hero soldiers who protected with their own bodies the lives of so many civilians. Eventually, the military actions that are taking place as we speak will take care of the military situation. But then there is a lot to be built and there is a lot to be done. And uh, here's my thinking about this and um, you know, let me just uh, try to, to suggest something and uh, I hope that this uh, strikes a reasonable chord with uh, the people who are listening to us. Here's what I think. Um, for every fallen soldier, for every murdered civilian, let's put together a new innovative startup which will be the product or service that we serve thousands of companies and millions of people around the world. You know, in other contexts, people plant a tree in the memory of a fallen soldier or a murdered civilian. In our context, let's make sure that we can plant a company. And I don't think that this will be, or this should be considered as a donation. This should be considered as an investment in a better world. I suggest that when we have the final count of the fallen soldiers and civilians in the worst terror attack ever, let's commit to found a new startup company for each of the heroes who gave their lives to protect our country, for each baby who was murdered in ways which I will not dare to mention here, for each family member who was tortured and executed in front of their loved ones, let's make sure that the response is by building is by putting together a new business, a new life, a new venture that will make for a better world. This is not about donations. This is about building up. And I invite all of you to join John at Outcrowd, to join me, to join Israel High Tech in building a better world for our next generations. We're not talking only about Israel. We're talking about a worldwide impact then if we build these companies together, we are going to fight evil together. Let's uh, you know, let's let the IDF, the Israeli Defense, Defense Army, get rid of those uh, brutal, fundamental, blood-seeking murderers. And then 
let's put together the infrastructure for a better world by creating so many new innovative ventures. Thank you very much.